Hello, Scorpios and Cross Watchers. Welcome to your next 48 for uh, Monday, August 19th, and Tuesday, August 20th, you versus them. Guys, I've already shuffled and laid out the cards to kill some time. I just have a couple of quick announcements, okay? Um, if you're currently subscribed with my channel, I just want to say thank you so much for all the love and support, the comments, the likes, the shares. If you are not currently subscribed to my channel, please be sure to click the red subscribe button to enter a chance to win. Um, Every month I choose a winner for a free 30 minute love reading. For the month of August I will be choosing six winners. Um, one for the 30 minute love reading and five winners to have one question answered by me. The winners will be announced in the September 2019 love reading so be sure to click on that bell so you get a notification to see if you have won or not. Okay. Um, I am taking personal readings, $10 off your first reading with me. Uh, information is in the description box below, or you can visit my website, www.thetowerofLight.com. Guys, I have well over 50 decks. Um, they're not all listed in the description box below. I have to update that. Today, we're going to be using the Fenestra Tarot. It is number 30 in the description box below with an Amazon link in case you're interested in purchasing. And I'm done. I'm talking super fast so that I finish quick. I have no more breath. Um, okay, guys, if this resonates, please be sure to like. If it doesn't, just take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? So I'm going to be reading you on this side, Scorpio, your person on this side. Actually, give me one second here. I'm going to change these. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have from my Scorpios, please? Okay, so I'm going to be reading you on this side and your person on this side. You can flip it, twist it, reverse it, do whatever you would like to do, okay? It is a general reading. It is, um, you know, yours. You could do whatever you'd like and fit it however way it resonates. So let's get started with you here. We have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Okay, true love, this is a romance of a lifetime. We also have free yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. Okay, so Scorpio, what this is telling me is you have real feelings for somebody that could be a little toxic, okay? Somebody that is, have you ever met one of those people that is like the whole package but there's one thing that's really, really wrong? That's what I kind of feel is happening here, okay? Um, we have the Three of Swords in reverse. And we have the Hanged Man. So I feel like this person may have done something to you that has taken a lot of time for you to heal, okay? And we have the Wheel of Fortune here. The Chariot. So we could be dealing with a Cancer. And we have the Three of Cups in reverse. So you could have been in a third party situation. And now, even though you love this person, you're wanting to get out of it. You've waited long enough. You've waited long enough. You've proved your love. Okay. And now we have the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is a good luck card. It's a blessing card. But when you're unhappy about something, Scorpio, this wheel will start to turn. And once it starts to turn, it'll create upheaval in your life, whether you're ready for that upheaval or not, okay? Because it's, you know, change is never easy. It's never fun. But, you know, life has to change in order for something new to begin, okay? And with the Chariot card, this is telling me that you're going to quickly make this decision and move toward that decision, all right? So again, I'm going to give two different scenarios here because not everybody is going through the same thing. So either there was a third party situation and you're removing yourself from that. You feel like you've waited long enough. No matter how much you love this person, you're going to start looking out for what's best for you, okay, Scorpio? Or... Or this person has just caused a lot of heartache in your life. There doesn't have to be another person, no cheating, just a lot of heartache. And you've waited long enough for them to get it together and do right by you. And it's not happening. So now you are going to free yourself and there will be no reconciliation for the situation. You've made your decision and you're moving forward and that's it. Okay. Now, 
on your person's end, we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And then we have, this could be the one, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay? What I think is really funny here is that we have love and free yourself, toxic behavior, and this could be the one. So, again, your partner feels just like you feel with the true love thing, that, that this could be the one. They see you as like they're everything, but codependency. So there could be drinking, drugs, uh, online dating, porn, sexual addiction, um, you know, maybe just a, a big ego, being selfish, being greedy. Uh, you know, there's so many things here that a person can be addicted to, but obviously your person has a vice. They have something that Scorpio, you just cannot deal with anymore, okay? And your person is about to get that message of truth. We could be dealing with um, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. Okay, we could be dealing with a Sagittarius or an, uh, a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo. They're about to get a message of truth because there's going to be an argument here and someone is walking away. And I feel like that someone might be you, Scorpio. Okay, this relationship is totally out of balance. It's totally out of balance with temperance in reverse. And if this person doesn't make the decision to do what is right and come towards you with a committed, stable, and grounded energy, I think you're out, Scorpio. I think you're done. We have the magician here in reverse, which is a manipulator and a trickster. Okay? And crossing the situation is the empress. So we could be dealing with an Aries, Libra, Taurus, or a Cancer. This is telling me that games are over. The games are over. If you don't get it together, I'm going to, I'm leaving and I'm starting a new beginning somewhere else. I'm done. I am done. Okay. This person, your person here, Scorpio, or you, someone here is going to come towards you promising you this Ten of Pentacles relationship. Financial abundance, love, home, marriage, children, and the whole nine. But the problem is, is that they keep doing this. They keep, they keep promising you victory, success. They keep feeding your ego. They keep telling you everything's going to be great. And then all you seem to get out of it is lies, cheating, manipulation, and a trickster with the seven of swords. You know, their words... Their words are not matching their actions. Whatever they're communicating to you, what they actually show is emotional disconnection. Do you understand? They talk a lot, but they're not, they're not putting in the work here. See how the back is turned on the relationship? They're not putting in the work. Yeah, and, and it's just not, you're over it. If this person's words don't start, you know, if they don't start putting their mouth where their money is or their money where their mouth is, however that saying goes... Um, I think you're out, Scorpio. I think you're done. I mean, hopefully this person fixes whatever issue that they have that you can't seem to deal with anymore. And again, guys, this can be flipped or reverse. You know, Scorpio, your person may come to you and say, listen, if you don't stop doing this, I'm done. I'm out. You know, so it, it could be reversed. Okay. But plain and simple, if someone doesn't get it together, you're out. Okay. Okay. Guys, if you want more clarity and guidance on your own personal situation, you can always book me for a personal reading. Please don't forget to subscribe to answer a chance to win. And be sure to like if it resonated. Thanks, guys. See you later.